Hey everybody! For today's lesson, lesson 1-9, you are going to learn how to solve with unlike mixed numbers. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to both add and subtract mixed numbers that do not have common denominators. So really, we can jump right in because you're not actually learning anything new here. You have already learned how to add mixed numbers that have common denominators, and you've already learned how to find common denominators. So now you're taking those two different concepts and you're combining them to be able to add with unlike mixed numbers and subtract with unlike mixed numbers. So I'm going to start with 5 and 1 fourth plus 3 and 4 fifths. I personally prefer to write these vertically. 5 and 1 fourth plus 3 and 4 fifths. And I'm very routine about this. I do the same steps every single time. The first thing I do is start with my two little equal signs. After that, I write the whole numbers so that I don't forget. And then we look at those fractions. I've got one-fourth and four-fifths. I cannot add one-fourth and four-fifths the way they are now because they need to have a common denominator, just like any fraction. So I start with those three questions. The first question is, does the smaller denominator go into the larger denominator evenly? Four does not go into five evenly, so I will go on to the second method. That question is, do they share a factor other than one? And I know that they don't because I know that five is a prime number and its only factors are one and five, and one doesn't count and five doesn't go into four. So then I go to method number three, which is to use the product of the denominators. Four times five is 20, so my denominator for both equivalent fractions will be 20. Then to find the equivalent fractions, we ask ourselves, what do we multiply the denominators by? And we'll do the same thing to the numerator. I multiply four by five to get 20, so I would do the same thing to the one, which gives us five. I multiplied 5 by 4 to get 20, so I do the same thing to the numerator and I get 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Now when we add, I prefer to start with the fraction and then go to the whole number. 5 twentieths plus 16 twentieths is 21 twentieths, and 5 plus 3 is 8. So now I have a mixed number, but I also have an improper fraction. So I'm going to need to change that to a fraction that um, does not have an improper fraction. 8 plus, and now 21 twentieths, I know it takes 20 twentieths to make a whole, so I can pull that out, and I'm left with 1 twentieth. And then finally, 8 plus 20 twentieths, well 20 twentieths is one whole, so 8 plus 20 twentieths would be 9 plus 1 twentieth, which is 9 and 1 twentieth. And I can't simplify 1 twentieth any further, so my answer here is complete. It's a lot of steps, but it's all, these are all steps that you've already done. Here's an example using subtraction. 4 and 1 third minus 2 and 7 fifteenths. The first thing I look at are those denominators. I've got a denominator of 3 and a denominator of 15. I cannot subtract these the way they are now, so I'll rewrite these using equivalent fractions. Start with the two little equal signs, and then so we don't forget, rewrite the whole numbers 4 and 2. To find the common denominator between 3 and 15, I'll start with the question, does the smaller one go into the bigger one evenly? 3 does go into 15 evenly, so my new denominator is 15. The nice thing about that is this fraction already had a new uh, denominator of 15, so the numerator won't change either. For the top one, 3 times 5 is 15. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do the same thing to the top. 1 times 5 is 5. So again, I start with the fraction part, and I've got 
5 fifteenths minus 7 fifteenths. I can't do that, so I'm going to need to ungroup. I'm going to take a whole number, which leaves us with 3 whole, and I'm going to trade that in for what I need. I am dealing with fifteenths, so I need, I need more fifteenths. 1 whole is equal to 15 fifteenths. Since I already had 5, I now have 5 plus 15, which is 20. 20 fifteenths minus 7 fifteenths is 13 fifteenths. And 3 minus 2 is 1. I cannot simplify this any further, so my answer is complete. 1 and 13 fifteenths.